Hello, Celestial Perch here. I have a new video for you guys today. This one is going to be with 3.6, and I'm taking a deeper dive into the psionic tree. We're going to be seeing how quickly I can actually get to fully awakened psionic pops in the new 3.6 with the Teachers of the Shroud. We've taken the Teachers of the Shroud origin, rolling with fanatic spiritualist authoritarian. Of course, we have exalted priesthood, meritocracy, and going over our species really quickly, start with the latent psionic trait, rapid breeders for extra pops, charismatic to reduce the amount of uh, amenity producing jobs, and traditional just for some extra unity. In addition, sedentary, like I've said before, pretty unimportant, and unruly, not that important at all. Going into our policies, I've changed to isolationist, and I've changed to civilian economy to support some additional researchers in, in the early game. We're trying to get as many researchers as we can in the early game. Whereas before, in 3.5.3, you wanted to unity rush down to the third tree, which with uh, Teachers of the Shroud, that would give you the ability to unlock Transcendence. Whereas now, as soon as we unlock Psionic Theory, we can take a Tradition, which will unlock the Psionic Tree. So my goal will be to still, of course, rush down the tradition tree so that we have at least maybe prosperity and then an open tree so that as soon as we complete the psionic theory we can start going down that tree and hopefully get this by maybe year 15 but let's check in at year 15. before we continue i'd like to point out that rushing down the psionic theory uh, and doing the strategy might not be optimal or at least probably won't be optimal but my suggestion would be to find a leader who is at least psychic, because you'll get the rough equivalent of Spark of Genius, 10%. In addition, they have research speed for psionics for an additional 10%. So you get 20% on psionic theory. We can change them out after we get psionic theory done, but for now, let's see what happens at year 15. Just a quick check-in at year 10, we've unlocked psionic, um, at least mind over matter. Just the intro, which will give us the ability to get telepathy. And I'm hoping by around year 15, we should have it fully completed. Let's see what awaits us. Hello, everybody. Just another quick check-in. You're uh, year 14, about to hit year 15, and we have the Great Awakening. We have fully unlocked our psionic potential, and all of our pops, all of our leaders are now psionic. As you can see here, as early as year 15, uh, this is on Grand Admiral, by the way, um, you can unlock the psionic trait. So now all of our pops have 5% happiness, 10% unity from jobs, 10% uh, physics, society, and engineering research. Also, all of your leaders will be psionic, psychic. So they'll have plus 0.5 monthly influence on the uh, actual leader, 10% governing ethics attraction, your governors will give you extra unity. We don't have any fleets yet, but as you can see here, our researchers also have the psychic trait, which can be quite nice. And more importantly, psychic admirals now have shield hardening, which is pretty interesting. Looks like they've lost the, I believe they used to have evasion. So shield hardening is, we'll have to see how it pans out. And I believe the governor has also changed. I think they used to have just resources from jobs or something else. But overall, it looks pretty good still. And it's year 22. We have fully unlocked psionics. Uh, this gives us 10% reduced edicts upkeep. We get obviously an ascension perk and reducing our shroud delve cooldown by 20%. Now we must explore the shroud. Now a little bit later, I took some time to actually complete the shroud uh, special project but once you complete it you get the ability to commune with your first uh, covenant so let's see if we can commune with it communing with the shroud is actually a special project that will cost you some additional society research so you'll have to put aside some time to both complete the shroud and then complete the communion so as you can see here upon completing the special project we get the option to choose to either form a covenant with the composer of strands or exit the shroud we also get a small little rp block over here um, the composer of strands giving us the pop growth speed leader lifespan 
but reducing our organic species trait picks. Um, I'm going to take it. Looks pretty fun. We'll just see how it goes. Now, the nice thing is after about a year or so, you also have the option to renounce the composer of strands or whichever um, covenant you got in case you accidentally clicked yes. Now you're given a chance to actually renounce it and remove the quest chain. But for now, I will continue the quest chain. I'm not going to get into too many spoilers uh, with the quest chain for the covenant for the composer of strands specifically. But overall, I just wanted to talk about how I feel about the new changes to the psionics and how now it's a tradition. Um, overall, I feel pretty good about it. I feel like it's um, better to have this tied to an actual tradition rather than two ascension perks. Um, now it's only one ascension perk if you're normally picking it up. Or for the uh, Teachers of the Shroud, it's just, you know, waiting until you get the tech. Overall, there are some slight nerfs to Psionic, you know, as, as you saw, the change to the Governor, as well as the change to the Admiral's, hard to tell if the Admiral one is actually a nerf or not yet, um, I, I would anticipate it would be a slight nerf, the Governor one is obviously more so a nerf, but also you have to take into consideration that you know, getting your Covenant right away, as opposed to randomly, you know, possibly maybe a hundred years from now, you know, that's a pretty big buff overall. It's still random, but you know, Shroud is always random. So, blessed be the Shroud, and just hope that you get a good covenant. Still, my final thoughts, I would say that the Psionic Tree and the Shroud now is a little bit more flavorful. It feels more like um, what it should have been, or what it should be, immediately commuting with the Shroud, having more of those RP elements thrown in there. Um, and having the psionic tradition tree, that's a bit more enjoyable now. It's kind of cool to get to like choose which one you want first. Go through the tree. I would say the tree overall is pretty, pretty solid. I'm not sure how it rates versus the other ones yet. Uh, once 3.6 is fully out, I'll do some actual playthroughs of each one and see which one is just overall feeling the best or is doing the best, but thank you and have a blessed day.